Last episode, I said I'd try and get the beta out by the end of September. And man oh man, did I overestimate what I need to do. I started out writing a list and decided this week I'm gonna work on sounds and some more 3D models. As you can see, it's a very long list with a couple surprises. I have the weapon section blurred out because I wanna make that a special video of its own and I wanna keep it a surprise. I think you're really gonna like it, but let's get into making sounds. But first, here's the alarm model. Now I can make the alarm sound. Now that the alarm model is done, I wanna make the sounds for it. So I wanna make two sounds for the alarm. I want just like the basic alarm sound that you would think of, and then I want a dying alarm sound if that makes sense, like a ooh. That's a really bad example, but that's what I want because I think listening to an alarm constantly while you're running around would get annoying. So the goal is that you can shoot the alarm and then that'll quiet the sound. The lights will still be going, but then there won't be any sound. The way I'm gonna record the sound is by setting off the fire alarm right there. Next, I put the alarm sound in Audacity. Change the pitch. Now it sounds like my lasagna is done in the oven. Then I layered it, changed the pitch some more, added lots of bass, changed the tempo, and plenty of other stuff. Here's how the sound turned out. Now it was time to move on to the alarm dying sound. I was having the hardest time getting this right. I ended up taking a break and found this sound that I liked. Now being the very organized person I am, I have no clue where I got that sound. So I can't credit who made it, meaning I can't put it in the game. I came back from my break and was thinking that fluorescent lights make a similar noise. So I went down to the shop and decided to record that. I eventually made an alarm dying sound I'm happy with, and here it is in game. Two of the sounds are now done. It was getting late, so I called it a night. Good morning. On the agenda today is continuing sounds. Yesterday, I made the fire alarm sound. So on top of that, I also need to make footsteps, a zombie sounds, a door slam sound, and then a hit marker sound. In last video, if you watched that, there were hit marker sounds that I added in to the video, and I really liked how they sounded, so I want to add that into the game. First things first, let's get in the footsteps. The footsteps came out great. I learned that in animations, you can add something called a notify. Then in the code, when that notify happens, I can tell it to play the footstep sound. So the footsteps you're hearing are accurate to what the character is doing. I also learned about physical materials. Physical materials will help me make different footstep sounds, such as walking through grass, mud, and a hard surface like what you're hearing now. After that, it was time to move to zombie sounds. I started out just making zombie sounds best I could with my mouth. I thought it was actually pretty good with no editing, but I also wanted to have underlying sounds. One of those sounds coming from my cat Zelda. She hates being brushed and makes the worst kinds of noises. Come here. This is Zelda. I promise she's happy to be here and she absolutely hates being brushed so much so that she hisses so i'm gonna do that and see if i can record a couple sounds of it to add in as a zombie sound so 
Zelda. <laughs> she escaped. Zelda. I just tortured her that whole time and realized I didn't even record the audio. I'm a terrible person. Later. I just wanted to show you guys it's later in the night and I wanted to show you that Zelda gets plenty of love and attention. I edited the zombie sounds and here's how it came out. Now it's time for the door slam sound. I put it into Audacity and the audio was terrible. So, you know what they say, if you want it done right, do it yourself. Even if you don't know how to. Take two. The sounds came out a lot better this time and here it is in game. I also attempted to make the hit marker noise this week, but was having absolutely no luck with it. I tried multiple sound effects, try and get it right to sound like that iconic hit marker sound, but I ran out of time this week, so hopefully I'll be able to implement that next week. I also made a few models this week. I made a table. I would imagine this would have been where the prisoners would have played card games or relaxed outside of their cell. Next, some of the side rooms are going to be classrooms, so I made a chair, desk, and like a teacher's desk. You'll also notice holes in the floor and ceiling now. The holes in the top ceiling are for zombies to come into the prison. That's where they are going to spawn, then fall down into the prison and try to get you along with the other zombies. This other hole is meant as an escape. In a previous episode, I talked about how if the player spent points to open a door with no reward, they would get upset. This is one of the rewards for this room. I also made a tunnel between the two bottom classrooms the player will open the door for, I don't know, 50 points I'll say for now. Then if they know what tile to move, they can move through a tunnel that a prisoner dug to try and escape a boring classroom. The tunnel is very dark, so the prisoner had to light it up with glow sticks to see where he was going. Finally, I made this octagon control unit. It will have functionality also. The player will be able to press a button on it that does something. You'll have to wait for another episode to see what I have planned for it. That is about it for the progress I made this week. Thanks for watching.